Hello friends, Techman Pat here. We've got a laptop set up here because today we're gonna to be testing the UV Wi-Fi bridges. Now I'm here at my parents-in-law large property, multi-acre property, and they've got a pretty good use case for this Wi-Fi bridge. For now, I've put it in a bit of a test position. Here's one of them, and the other one is gonna go down this very steep driveway right at the end, and we're gonna see if it's gonna break through all these trees, because at the end of the day, the whole point of a Wi-Fi bridge is to deal with real-world use cases, not just one empty line of sight to connect your Wi-Fi. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the connector down to the driveway. There is a power plug there, so we can plug in this secondary B device, and we're gonna test the speed and see what we get. At the moment, we are getting 26 megabits down and 41 megabits per second up, which is actually a pretty darn good speed. So big thanks to UV for sending these for review. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get started by rolling the intro. All right, before we move everything down to the driveway, because it is a bit of a walk, we have it set up right here. This is the UV device. It has lights on the side, which tell you the strength of the actual connection. If you've got power and so on, it has power over ethernet and it has a DC plug in. So we're gonna be using both. So we've got the ethernet cable right here, 2.5 gig adapter, and then we can do a quick speed test on open speed test. Now we're not actually checking the internet. This is a connector to the computer and the house and we'll see the speeds right here. And as you saw before, 20 megabits per second down and it should be about 40 megabits per second up. So you may be wondering, what is the use case? Well, this power plug right here is actually for the gate. So you can make a smart gate by getting internet all the way down here without cables. The cable is faster, obviously, but you don't actually need faster internet to do something like control a gate. So we're just gonna place it here and see if we can get some signal. All right, this is definitely a little bit of a janky setup. We've got the power going out of this box and then it goes down into a very long power point. And then on this post, now the post could be taller. That's obviously a given. You can make this as tall as you want. You've got the sensor lights at the bottom there and power here. So let's have a look if it works. All right, still no signal. I think we might have to gear towards maybe closer. Okay, we've got signal. It's just maybe a meter or two away from the power box now, not too far away. Still actually probably a very good location because you can put it on a post here. We've got signal. So let's press start. Hi Kinga, who's a good dog. Look at that, one megabit a second, 2.4, down four, three, two. This is fantastic. Now this has power over ethernet, so you wouldn't actually need this power brick over here. And you can just use it like this, so four, that's perfect. The actual devices come with power over the ethernet. So we've got ourselves a five millisecond ping, 2.8 megabits per second down and 2.4 megabits per second up. And this is such a janky setup. It is not even higher than the trees. It's going through the trees. It couldn't make it through these trees here, but you know, once you set it up here, it worked really, really well. But in a real world setup, you'd have a post here from the gate going up much higher to get much higher speeds. Not that you need to for this use case, but you would. And of course, what you'd do is have it running as an ethernet cable into a box that's waterproof or something like that to have the device like a Raspberry Pi with a camera or multiple 
cameras. This is the best way to do it. And what's really interesting is because it's all power over ethernet and once you set up a little box with power over the ethernet and you've got a very large property, all of a sudden you can have multiple cameras out the front of your property all running back to this Wi-Fi bridge and in back to the home at speeds at speeds that are perfect for IP cameras and notifying you if somebody's at the gate. Maybe you have a doorbell at the gate with a video camera. This is the perfect use case for one of these. So big thanks to UV for sending this out for a good test run. I thought the best use case would be real world. So big thanks to my parents for law for letting me fiddle around with plugs and cables and uh, their power box out the front of the property. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in another video. Bye.